a medical drama that's better written, better acted, and best of all, better looking than all the rest. Help, it's my wife! Cosmetic ER Emergency Beauty. Starring Brock Hammond as Dr. Blake Helmond. My God, sir, that nose, it, it's hideous. Rhinoplasty tray, Stan! No, it's not me, it's my wife. We just got a last minute invite to an important party and well, just look. Code blue, code blue! With Marina as Dr. Martina. Give me a half gauge skin scraper, number seven bone saw, and three units of Max Factor 6. Stat! Please hurry! I don't want to miss the buffet! Please! They have shrimp! Get him out of here! Dr. Martina! Huh? Remember who pays the bills? I know, Dr. Blake. It's just, well, if only she had come to us sooner. The doctors of Cosmetic ER aren't just gorgeous and sexy. They care. Sometimes, maybe too much. I'm sorry. We did all we could, but she was just too ugly. Oh, no! What'll I do? <laughs> Listen, I know it's hard, but my shift is over. I'm in the mood to party. Why not take me? You? You're so beautiful. You'd go with me? Really? Woohoo! Whoa. I'm just going for the shrimp. Cosmetic ER. Surgery never looked this good. Only on TCC. Now that's a hot show. Kudos to you all. Even the big Australian cheese, Ford Carter himself, loves it. He had just one teeny note. More cleavage. My contract says I do eight minutes of cleavage per show. Ten thousand bucks each additional minute. Yes, well, we'll take it up with business affairs. I'll ship in ten thousand right now. Bite me, Murray. Fine by me. Mike Tyson's a personal friend. Hell of a canasta plan. Yes, thank you for sharing. Well, that completes this staff meeting. If no one has anything else... Yes, Murray, something to add? I just want to say I'm madly in love with Marina and I don't care who knows it. I'm white hot with passion. What? Maybe you should loosen your bow tie. It's cutting off the blood to your brain. Loosen my tie? You want my clothes off? You no, got please, it. Please, not this again. You make me hotter than July, to quote the great Stevie Wonder. Please, let's keep the salacious talk where it belongs. On the airwaves. Meeting adjourned. You know what they say? Ladies go berserk for a bow tie at work. Nobody says that except you. I've seen sexier men in sideshows. Whoa. Sexy and funny, too. Like Don Rickles in a D-cup. I'm telling you, doll, you will be mine. There's no one in my heart but you. Oh, geez, time to call a wife. Winston Hallowerth of the Boston Herald Globe Examiner Tribune Dispatch. I'm Timmy Breyer, TCC Intern of the Month. Quiet. Today we revisit one of the decade's finest film achievements, a truly moving and passionate masterpiece that reminds us all why we bother to go to the cinema in the first place. Ooh, are you talking about Species 2, The Spawning? Good Lord, no. I'm, of course, referring to that fabulously entertaining British fable, The Full Monty. Let's have a look. The full Monty, again. See how the lighting plays up the contours of their bodies. The director invites oh. us to feel the passion, the touch, throbbing electric pulse that makes these characters dance like the dance of life, its very self. <laughs> every time I watch that scene, I savor every succulent detail. I'm just glad we don't actually see their wee-wees. You missed the point entirely. Perhaps we should see it again. Aw, oh, jeez. Can't we talk about one of my favorite movies? Like Star Trek versus the Borg. Rubbish! You never even see Captain Picard's legs. Whereas in the full Monte. But... Roll em. Oh, yes. Fine manly men thrusting their existential truth in our faces. Oh, I don't ever want it to end. Seems like it never does. 
Well, next week we'll look at a new Bruce Willis film about a... Bosh! Who needs that crap? There's still more about the full Monty we need to discuss. Let's see it again. Oh, for Pete's sake. There are other movies, you know. Not for me. Not anymore. I believe in parties. Do me right. <laughs> For movies on film, or should I say movie, I'm Timmy Breyer. And he's... As naked as I want to be! Get used to it! Special delivery from Miss Marina. What is it? A hunk, a hunk of burning love. Can I get your autograph, superstar? Not for all the collagen in Beverly Hills. Ugh, aren't you married? No problem, it's a two-sided form. Easier than trading in a Bjork. Come on, I know you dig me. I've seen you staring at me in the commissary. I do that to induce vomiting. It's part of my diet. Now buzz off! I have lines to learn from my guest spot on the new Hercules series. Here, I got your little gift. Something to remind you of me. A baggy baby. Squiddy, the one I've been looking for. How'd you know? I do my research. Found out Squiddy was your fave. I just wanted to see you smile. So, you want to come back to my dressing room? Get bent, Gummo! <laughs> what a firecracker! Give up now, old-timer. Marina will shred your heart and shrivel your manhood. You haven't got a chance. Wanna bet? I couldn't profit from your pathetic delusions. Five grand says she's mine by midnight. And I mean all mine. I'll take your cash. By tomorrow, I'll be rich, and you'll be back to hitting on Dr. Roof. Mm. You love Murray. You must have Murray. Murray fills you with overpowering desire. Murray. Murray. Sundays at 9, Ancient Greece's mightiest hero swaggers through his golden years in TCC's Old Hercules, starring Charlton Heston. I have the strength of ten men. Ten really old men. Also starring TCC's own Marina as Princess Great Tookus. In the name of Zeus, please spare me. I will eat you. Stop right there, you one-eyed whippersnapper. Hercules, I can't believe it. What? That I found you? No, that you're still alive. I could swear I saw your obituary years ago. Yeah! That was a vagoda. Now let the girl go, telescope face, or by God, I'll tear you a new eye hole. I squish you like a ring. What did you say? You heard me! Actually, I didn't. Hearing ain't what it used to be. You mind talking into my ear horn? I squish you like a don't make me laugh. Yeah. No, seriously, don't make me laugh. It screws up my bladder control and I'm fresh out of diapers. Now, put them up. Yeah. Nice. You beat up an old man. I hope you're proud, you jerk. Uh, uh, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Uh, don't apologize. My time has come. I only ask that you join me in a warrior's prayer. Let us close our eyes. Uh, I... <laughs> the old purple nipple surprise! <sighs> you know, Hercules, I like my men like my wine. Oh, and dry, but with a firm cork. Whoa, girl, you look like a starving dog eyeing a pork chop. Easy does it. Don't fight it, Marina. Let my virility crash over you like a sweaty tidal wave. Yes, Murray Price, I love you. Cut! What? What? What was that? Murray Price, I love you? Hmm. What kind of crazy improv was that, Marina? I, uh, I, uh... So it's come to this. Young people lump me in with Murray Price. I played Ben Hur, damn it. Moses, the guy from Soylent Green. Wow. What was it like working with Edward G. Robinson? Don't you mess with me, you damn dirty ape. Now look what you did. What was 
are you thinking? I was thinking about Murray Price's butt. Oh, God. I've done some kinky stuff, but this is sick. What's happening to me? Once in a generation comes a revolution in shaving technology. Introducing the Octoblade from Shtick. Watch how the patented Octoblade system works to shave you closer than ever before. The first blade gently tugs the hair from the follicle, exposing the root. The second blade pulls the hair out further. The third blade then pushes it back in. This confuses the hair. Then the fourth blade mocks the hair. The fifth blade seduces the hair, sleeps with it, then tells the other hairs it was lousy in bed. The sixth blade is required due to union regulations. It sits on its butt and eats donuts all day. The seventh blade is insane. We have no control over its actions. Then the eighth blade, which is actually not a blade at all, but a series of ten sub-blades. Blade A, the frightener, terrifies the hair. Blades A, B through 8F are still under construction. Finally, Blade AG uses patented laser thermology to destroy the hair or part of it, leaving your skin silky smooth for up to an hour. Octoblade. So advanced, it's stupid. Topic, family values in the new millennium. My guest, the Reverend Robbie Bob Schweigwell. Reverend? Murray, America is at war. As my buddy the Lord said just the other day, on the side of evil are drooling perverts with their jiggling Jezebels and their muskrat love. On the good side, decent folk who understand that sex is basically icky. It's only icky if you do it right. <laughs> But seriously, Rev, thank goodness I'm a happily married family man. My beautiful wife, Amber, and I celebrate our first anniversary in eight short months, and we're still very much in love. Well, Murray, that's lovely, and I Los would... Angeles, you're on the air. Murray, it's me, Marina. Meet me in 20 minutes at Cafe Trende. Hot damn, I gotta go, Reverend. Royal viewers, talk amongst yourselves. Down those menus. You don't need to eat. You're writers. You're in such a rush to pitch your big idea, so pitch. If it doesn't stink, then you can share an appetizer. Welcome to Cafe Trende, Mr. Price. Hey, isn't that Murray with Marina? <laughs> oh, goodness me, so it is. My lord, he's at stage four already. Amazing. He's hearing divorce slash wedding bells. The four-month itch. You know Murray. Yeah, I just can't believe Marina's actually going for it. <laughs> She's had everyone else. Maybe it's just his turn. <laughs> Waiter, bring us a bottle of your best champagne value. Something fresh. Say what you will about Murray Price. He knows how to treat a lady. I'll be honest. I used to think of you as repellent on every level. So you noticed. I've got a lot of levels. I'm a complicated man. But now something clicked. It's like a voice in my head saying, oh, bow ties are hot. Go with that voice. But the old voice is there too, and it's making these horrible retching sounds. Puke is no problem. I keep a bucket by my night table. We won't miss a beat. I don't know. I'm so confused. Well, you know the old saying, when confused, stare at a stuffed animal. You love Murray. You must have Murray. Murray fills you with overpowering desire. Wow, Murray's really got the knack. Oh, please. She's just leading him on. She's acting. Wait a second. Marina can't act? Now they're sucking face. No, it's a lie. My eyes. I can't watch. Well, I'm going to watch. I want to see how he gets to second base. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. How are you feeling now, sweetie? I bet you look hot in the thong. Oh, mama. Uh, we have to go. Uh, we don't have to pay for that, right? Thanks. <laughs> hey, Marina dropped her baggy baby. Hmm. Ugly must be Marina's thing. I mean, who would want such a stupid, cuddly, adorable little chummy chum? Why can't I do that, hmm? I'm a sexy, attractive man, right? Yeah. This is depressing. Give me some ideas, fast. What have you got? We have this one thing about FBI agents who investigate cases of the unexplained. Hey, isn't that the X-Files? No, it's original. this is totally original. It's uh, Y-Files. With a Y. <laughs> hmm, I like it. OK, you can eat. Bring me the children's menu. B. 
behave, I'll teach you. Help! Oh, please! Somebody! Ah, I'll be there for you, Paul! <laughs> I think I got one! Paul? Paul? Hey, Sculler, sorry I'm late. Moldy, turn out the lights. Why? It looks more dramatic. Moldy, do you know what time it is? Uh, sure, Sculler. It's, um, it's, um, 2.36 p.m. The current temperature is 78 degrees. Wind's gusting from the north at 20 miles per hour. You want to know the latest sports scores? Moldy, we have work to do. This is from the paw cuddle case. The victim was completely bisected. Hmm. Well, I'll bet he had half a mind to get out of the way. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Clevis Cuddle, Dana Sculler, the Y Files. This is Agent Fox Moldy. Evidence suggests your father was killed at close range by a sharp metal object. Any idea what that may have been? <gasps> no, I don't. You're crazy. And my theory is you witnessed an extraterrestrial invasion force attempting a short-range probe of your father with a secret flesh-splitting device. Exactly! Aliens! With a flesh-spitting thingy! Now, that's police work! Fox, you have no evidence to support your theory. Oh, yeah? Check the old man's dental records. Here, look. Uh, wait a second, where's that tooth? The tooth? It's out there. The tooth is out there? Yeah, in the car. Want me to get it? Forget it. Besides, a smoking man can confirm my story, right? <laughs> Moldy's right. You see, <coughs> government is, uh, <coughs> they're, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> ow, ow, bees. Ow. <coughs> bees in a cornfield. That's odd. Hey, look! Fox was right. Aliens. Duh. Duh. But why? Because the bees must be left in peace to eat the corn. Why? Because we need them to make honey nut cornflakes, my favorite. Yum, yum. But what? Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> foolish mortals! When... <laughs> hey, how'd you get a bigger star than mine? Just had this place remodeled. Get a lot of this. Well, what do you think? I think your star is too big. Come on in and get comfortable. I'll throw an LP on a high fi If you can't score to Rickles, you can't score. Now, excuse me while I slip into something more revealing. <laughs> the jacuzzi. How about a couple of Tom Collins? What the hell am I doing here? <clears throat> Ready or not, here I go. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What's the matter? Eat a bad clam? Please, cover up your... That must be nuts. Uh... Get me out of here before I turn into a pillar of salt. Jeez, am I really so unattractive? You have a face for radio and a body for a Klingon medical textbook. Oh, crap. Who am I fooling? I'm a pathetic old lech. Oh, nuts. <sighs> oh, Murray, don't take it so hard. I did lead you on. God knows why. No, oh, it's my fault. The baggy baby I gave you poisoned your mind. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to love me. The baggy baby? <laughs> you must have left that at the restaurant. My mother shunned me. I crave female acceptance. That's why I get married so much. That plus I'm a relentless horn dog. <laughs> That's so sad. You know, my mother never loved me either. That's why I'm a ruthless fame addict, incapable of intimacy with anyone but my own publicist. We have a lot in common after all, Murray. Who are you calling? The police. You should be put away. No, no, please. I'll be rude. Give me a chance. I'll, I'll do anything you say. Anything I say, huh? 
Well, let's see. What can I do to make you sufficiently miserable? Hold it! We know all about Murray's little voodoo doll. Show her, Brock. I love Murray. Kiss me, you fool. Hang on, damn boy. I love Murray. The only man I ever kissed was Kirk Douglas, and that was strictly business. Help! Call the cops! Yeah, baby! Forget the cops. This is better. Go for it, Brock. The ugly ones need loving, too. Hey, get your hand out of me. Silly Murray. That's not my hand. I'll stick to TCC policy. Don't ask. Hear me? Don't tell. Don't look. <laughs> I love Murray. No, I love not. Murray. Kiss me, you fool. It's not that you're not a track. You're watching. TCC.